Hi and welcome everyone again to this presentation for Azure Workshops and in this part we are going to see how to work with Azure VPN Getaway. So why we need Azure VPN Gateway? We need Azure VPN Gateway to securely connect remote workers and office networks to application on Azure without exposing them to the internet and ensuring safe and scalable access. So here, as you can see, we are going to add or create a new subnet dedicated for Azure VPN Gateway. And later we are going to see this setup step by step, how to do it and how we are going to connect from my machine to the virtual machine here with the private IP access. Sorry, this is wrong here. So we have only private IP here in this virtual machine and we are going to see how to do it. So an Azure VPN gateway is a specific type of virtual network that is used to send and receive encrypted traffic between an Azure virtual network and on-premises location over the public internet. Azure VPN Gateway today can also be used to connect separate Azure virtual networks using an encrypting tunnel across the Microsoft network backbone. Azure VPN uh, Gateway today support, um, support both point-to-site and site-to-site -site connection. So when we say point-to-site VPN connection, we can, we can uh, it can be used to connect a single computer like we are going to do today to an Azure virtual network, which we call a P2S connection, it, which it is uh, established by starting it from the client computer. This type of VPN connection is commonly used by remote workers with portable computers. Also, with the second one is site to site VPN connection. So a site to site VPN connection allows you to connect one network to another network with traffic between the two networks passing across an encrypted VPN tunnel. This type of VPN connection is commonly used to connect on-premises sites to Azure or Azure virtual networks to each other. So we can use it when we talk here, when uh, we talk about hub and spoke architecture. So there are different SKUs uh, for Azure VPN Gateway and depending on the SKU chosen, Azure VPN Gateway support between 10 and 30 site-to-site -site connection from 100 megabytes to 1.2 gigabytes aggregated through output and the Border Gateway Protocol BGP support. So what Azure VPN Gateway? So it's a networking service that provides secure cross-premises connectivity between your Azure virtual network and on-premises IT infrastructure. So when we talk about Azure VPN Gateway, we say we have a secure connection. We say we have a hybrid networking. So Azure VPN Gateway facilitate hybrid networking scenario, which allow us to extremely connect to on-premises network to your Azure virtual network. We say also high availability. So the gateway is designed for high availability and can be configured in active, active or active standby mode, which will ensure reliable connectivity and minimal downtime. Scalability, it support multiple connection configuration and can scale to accommodate growing network demands including the ability to handle large numbers of connections simultaneously and integrate with Azure services. So Azure VPN Gateway integrate with other Azure, uh, Azure services such as Azure Express Route, Network Security Group, NSGs, providing a comprehensive and secure networking solution for your cloud and on-premises environment. So now we are going to see step by step how to configure Azure VPN Gateway and how to connect securely to our virtual machine. So 
Here we are in our resource group as usual and we will look for VPN Gateway or Azure VPN Gateway. Let me type Gateway. Um, maybe let me just look with the right naming. It's a virtual network gateway. And let me type. All right, it's the second one. So it's a virtual network gateway. And let's start the creation. So we need to give it a name. So I will name it VNG POC FR002. All right. And you can choose between using it as VPN or express route. We will not talk about express route today. We will talk just only about the VPN. And we need also to choose one of the SKUs uh, too. There are a couple of SKUs. So I will go just with the first one, the cheapest one. And we can choose the uh, generation too. So for this SKU, we can choose, for example, generation one or two. And for the virtual network, I will go with the same VNet. And we are going to uh, need uh, a subnet range in order to uh, create uh, this VPN gateway. All right. We need to use also a public IP address to use it with this uh, uh, VPN gateway. So let's create a new one. Let me just... Uh, change this queue I need the simple one all right and I will go with that and I will create a new public IP address as I said so there is a, already a, a, a an IP address that exists on my resource group I will not use it I will just create a new one it will be the public IP address that we are going to try to connect to from the VPN client all right active active mode i will keep it as it is and all right and here uh, for the high performance we need to, to keep it uh, activated or enable it uh, which is active active mode and this is the second ip address also so i will just copy this and name it 002 and i will configure the pcp i will keep it disabled so the creation of the VPN uh, gateway or the virtual network gateway will take a couple of minutes. For that, I will launch the creation and later I will pause and when it's created, I will go back and explain it uh, step by step and how to configure the client on our virtual machine and also the certificates. So this will take maybe 40 minutes in order to be created and any change we do later if we, for example, we disable the active active mode, it will take between 10 and 20 minutes in order to be disabled. So let's get uh, started and wait this to be created. So here we have our service already created and this is the actual configuration. So here we have this queue. Here, if there are any connection, you can see it. And here we can see the configuration that we are going to do. So we are going to create a point to site configuration based on Azure certificate. For that, we are going to need to create a certificate. When a P2S VPN gateway is configured, it requires a certificate authentication. Each client computer must have a client certificate installed locally. For that, we have to prepare the code in order to create a root certificate and a client certificate. So if I go to my certificate manager on my local computer, you will see if I refresh right now, I have the root certificate and the client certificate. So I'm going to export the um, private key for the uh, public certificate on base 64. I will export it right here. And later I will put it in the uh, VPN gateway configuration. So I will go here, I will edit this root certificate. I will take the part uh, between begin and end. I will copy this and I will answer this to this configuration public certificate data and I will save. And later we will download a VPN client. So this will take maybe 10 minutes in order to uh, be 
configure it and uh, in order to work so there are many certification types but for this demo i have chosen the azure certificate way so we are going to need to wait a few seconds for this to be created i may pause in order to see this uh, working and later we will see the uh, different uh, steps so let me after this have been created let me download the vpn client so i will just wait there for the vpn client to be there i will save it so we can download the vpn client as uh, ms msi.exe file or maybe as a powershell commands so let me just run and uh, export this uh, configuration or this installation all right so as you can see we have different configuration for windows and we can go with generic or windows uh, uh, amd64 i will just run this setup I'll do run uh, anyway because it's from azure All right, and as you can see the message here, will you want to add a VPN client to your machine? Now let's go to our settings, uh, the configuration of VPN. And as you can see here, I have two VPNs because I have been doing some demos and the both VPN here are well uh, added to my configuration. I can even delete them both and create a new one. All right. Let me go to overview and here we can see if there is any total tunnel uh, ingress, any connection or any um, any uh, configuration or even maintenance. We can see the uh, properties for our resource ID here. All right, let me go back to the configuration. Here we have a uh, .ps1, which is a PowerShell uh, file that we can execute in order to install that uh, VPN. I will copy this. I will go to my PowerShell. I will paste it right here. As you can see, this is the uh, configuration that we have set up and the uh, public IP that I have chosen for that VPN and the name of our virtual network. So let me go and delete the configuration that I have already uh, created before. I will remove this. And right now we have zero VPN connection created. Let me run this script. All right. And let me go back to the VPN uh, connection that we have. And as you can see here, we have VM POC FR001 VNet, which is the name of our virtual network. All right nice no errors means uh, everything went right so let's go to our virtual machine and let's start it i stopped the virtual machine earlier all right and as you can see we don't have public ip we only have this 10.0.0.4 the private ip address of this virtual machine now we can connect actually with bastion but we, what we want to do we want to set up a point to site connection to connect securely via VPN gateway in order to connect to this virtual machine and actually anything in that virtual network. So let's wait for this virtual machine to be started. I should have done this before the demo, but it will be started so quickly. So let me launch the remote desktop and take this IP and try to connect. So right now I did not activate the VPN gateway, as you can see. So I cannot connect to that private IP address. So it's a private virtual machine. We cannot connect to it from the internet. And when we download the RDP file, it will only contain that private IP address because we don't have any public IP address attached to that virtual machine. So as you can see, we cannot connect because we are not on the same network or our network is not allowed to connect to that virtual machine. All right, now what are we going to do? We are going to activate that VTN. So let's click on connect 
and we are connected as you can see so we are connected through the certificate the client certificate that we have installed on our virtual machine earlier all right and let me right now just try again as you can see here the bytes we can see the byte received and send it and the machine have started and let's try to connect to that virtual machine again so i will click again on download rdp file keep this connect and right now it captures the page in order to enter the password which means we are okay we are connected to that virtual machine nice and now through the vpn we are connected to that virtual machine on our virtual network we have a private virtual machine and we are connecting through the vpn to that virtual machine as you can see here the virtual machine we can see it we can see its configuration just hanging because i just started that windows server and as you can see i am inside that virtual machine we can see the full configuration and the server manager just have started and that vpn gateway let us connect securely to that virtual machine here if i go to connection if i refresh i will see in a few minutes my connection i will wait just a few seconds in order to see uh, the connection actually it's in point to site uh, session here we are going to see the different session and as you can see when i go to my wi-fi here it show me that the vm is connected to a vpn and here inside the point to site session as you can see i have my session that have started from about 94 seconds and you can see the public ip address of that vpn and you can see the connection time and I'm, my virtual machine is connecting through that uh, client certificate that i have installed so we can uh, choose different type of, conf of configuration with the vpn gateway uh, with client certificate or with Azure Active Directory or what we name all, uh, today Entra ID. All right, let me now go back here. As you can see, we have the virtual machine and I'm connected to that VPN gateway. From this portal, we can disconnect our machine, as you can see. And right now, I am disconnected from the virtual machine because I am not connected to that VPN. Let me connect again and the connection to the virtual machine will be reestablished. And as you can see here, the session is back. So we can disconnect any session from the portal of Azure that is connected to our network. This is great. So like that, we are, we are having our VPN client that is connected to that virtual machine. Uh, we don't have actually public ip address for that uh, virtual machine it's supposed to be created uh, it's supposed to be written private ip sorry for that and we have our vpn uh, which is able to uh, connect to that virtual machine and we have our application gateway that is connected to that virtual machine and able to serve that website that we have on our virtual machine so in these steps we have seen how to configure our um, azure vpn gateway it was simple and quick i will share the powershell script uh, below on this video and as you can see here a new subnet dedicated for um, azure vpn gateway was created it is called gateway subnet it is on, uh, on range 24 and it, it is only dedicated for the uh, azure vpn gateway all right so everything went smooth everything have been created and if you see the resource uh, visualizer you can see here we have our vpn gateway that is connected to our virtual uh, network i hope you liked this video and uh, more content is coming soon thank you do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel